how to get to five million, five million members, but actually, they, I thought that sounded a bit more interesting than other titles we could have come up with. But actually, that's not really uh, what we, we we call uh, the number of members we have vanity, so we try not to concentrate on it, even though it's sort of naturally what everyone uh, comes back to. Um, and, um, well, yeah, what I want to talk about is uh, basically um, what, what we believe to be the, the the thing we do that's kind of allowed uh, allowed the growth, and that if ever you're you're considering uh, um, uh, starting a business or uh, a website that relies on on people interacting uh, over the internet, uh, this this will be really relevant. So I thought I'd uh, go through about what we do and how it works, uh, where we are now, um, kind of the history to how we got there, and then um, what enabled this, which is kind of the topic of the of the talk. Uh, so how does it work? So, I, um, how many of you have heard of it before? Uh, before the talk, uh, blah blah car. Yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, it's, it, it sounds really obvious, but I think one thing we have learned is that never assume that people understand what your message is and understand what you're doing. Um, so I'll, I'll explain it as if uh, uh, you were kids. Um, so imagine that you're driving from London to Manchester. Uh, on a Friday evening to see uh, some friends at uh, uh, University of Manchester. Uh, if you're driving alone, that will cost you £90 in fuel uh, and running costs. Um, and you might think, well, I can take the train. Well, the train actually last minute can be uh, uh, over £160, even with, uh, um, with uh, student cards, etc. So the, the train can be really expensive. Even that, it doesn't sound that stupid driving alone. But what, what we allow um, drivers to do is to offer their ride on the website and if they were to take the three passengers that also want to go to Manchester on a Friday evening, uh, each passenger would contribute roughly a third of running costs. So if you take three passengers with you, that means that as a driver you get to travel, to travel for free. So it's really win-win because uh, the driver gets to travel for free and the passengers, £30, is um, on average 75% less than last minute trains. I say on average because it can be significantly less as well. Um, so that's how it works. And in terms of the website, so um, it's just like a travel search engine. Uh, you type in where you, where you are and where you want to go, uh, and then you get a list of results uh, of uh, people driving. So I'm driving back this evening. So this, is, uh, this was uh, Oxford to, to London. I'm driving back this evening, so uh, that, that's me there. Um, and as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of information about the, the people driving. So, um, I mean, the first thing you know is that you've got a picture, you've got the price per seat, um, obviously time uh, and journey. And, and here we've got a few other things. So we've got uh, some preferences. So that allows you to know a bit more about uh, the individual. So uh, this here says blah, blah. Um, this is actually where our name comes from. So um, when you uh, become a member, you say whether you're either blah, 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 or blah, blah, blah. Uh, so if you're blah, you don't talk very much. If you're blah blah, you talk quite a lot, and if you're blah blah blah, you, you can't shut up. Um, <laughs> and we find that's, that's because it's a social uh, social experience traveling uh, um, through blah blah car. It really represents kind of what we're about. Um, and you've got other preferences, so I don't um, I don't smoke, and, and I'll listen to music in the car, so uh, uh, people can know uh, quite a bit about each other. Um, cool. So we've got a brief quiz um, before I, I go into any detail. I want to see. Uh, 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 just want to see how you respond. Um, so I was, it, in UK, um, we we've been here eighteen months. But um, it, it, it's a pro when I say I, I work for blah blah car, some people haven't heard of it. Some people have. Um, whatever happens though, when I when I tell them how many um, uh, people use it on a monthly basis, people are generally surprised. So. Um, we, tr we, there, we have more users per month than another pretty famous um, uh, transport network. Uh, does anyone know which transport network that is that we transport more people than every month? Where is it from? The tra uh, it's in Europe. Oh. Is it German? No. No, okay. The London tube system. Uh, no. Eurostar? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do you want a t-shirt? Oh, I've got t-shirts before. Yeah. Small, uh, <laughs> small or medium? Um, medium, but at least on the outlet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, just been cool then, for all our yeah, so, so <laughs> this is. Um, this is kind of going to be the topic. Uh, the topic is: Can you think it can be summarised in one word? There's one thing that we really spend a lot of time thinking about uh, on the website that um, we believe has enabled our growth. Can you? Is, you can summarise summarise it in one word. Can you? Social networks. No. It really is just one word. It's the economic law. Uh, no. What does it begin with? Uh, let me see if I can. Um, it begins with T. Time? Transport. No. No, so, so it's something. Time? That, sorry. Time. No, so it's something we try and enable on the website. The Trust. It, yeah. Ah. So <laughs> that's really important. For, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about it later. But it's obviously really important if you're, of course, if, if a mate of yours is travelling from A to B, of course you're going to jump in. But uh, what we're trying to do is do this on a really big scale. So the person you're travelling with is not a mate of yours. It's someone you haven't met before. But uh, you can there. Are, that's a hurdle, and, but there are things you can do to, to basically uh, jump that hurdle. Um, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I think that was the. We'll, we'll sort out the t shirts off. Um, and then finally, this is. Um, I just want to see if you guys can think this through, but uh, obviously, our job is to match uh, passengers who want to travel from A to B with drivers who want to travel from A to B. Can, can, uh, and that's not always easy. Because we need to, we, they need same departure point, same ride point, same day. Um, so there's no prize for this one. But can you? Is it? Do you reckon it's easy to match people on long or short distances? Long distances. Yeah. And so that, that's right. And uh, can you give? Can anyone give me any reasons why that, that's the case? You know, it's on an advance. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's normally that's more cool. expensive uh, using alternative methods of transport to go long distance. Um, and therefore it's cheaper to use a car normally. Uh, let me think. <laughs> so, but, but then again, it's quite cheap. Well, okay, I, I think what, maybe what you're getting at, which is definitely one of the reasons, is because you're going to spend more on the long distance, you're more likely to, to want to do something about it. I'd say per mile, there's not much difference. If, if you're driving one mile, it, you know, in the city, maybe miles per gallon is higher, but the, the, the point is, uh, which I think you're getting at, is that on a, on a long journey, obviously, you, um, uh, it's going to cost you more, so you're more likely to, to try and do something about it, yeah. Uh, any others? No, so, um, short distances, people like to be spontaneous, so you go just decide sort of last minute, okay, I want to go within this half an hour rather than in two hours. Yeah, time. I guess that, that's the plan, planning thing, but, but uh, like from a different, different yeah. perspective. Uh, uh, so uh, I think maybe the easiest way to summarise it as well is if you just think mathematically, um, imagine plotting one mile uh, journeys over the UK. Uh, imagine 10 passengers, 10 drivers on the same day they want to get from A to B and they're all one mile journeys. Plot those randomly on the, uh, on the map of the UK. The likelihood of that matching is, is really, really low, right? On the other hand, if you had 10 passengers, 10 drivers who were going to travel 500 miles um, on that same day, plot those on the UK and, and well, some are probably going to match, A, because the UK is quite narrow, so uh, it, it's likely to be in that axis, and, and, and you'll, you'll therefore find uh, journey to match. So that's, and that's one thing that slightly differentiates us, us from any competitors we have, but we really concentrate on, on long distance, because that, that's kind of what works. Okay, so um, where we are now, um, so we're now in 10 countries uh, across Europe. Uh, there have been more than 3.2 billion kilometers shared in total. Uh, and, and so, to give you an idea what that represents, if you were to walk around the world 80,000 times, that would be roughly 3.2 billion kilometers. Uh, so this is actually a little bit outdated, but uh, we were talking about the Eurostar. So the Eurostar transport um, uh, about 750,000 uh, passengers every month. And so we have more than one million people using Driver Car every month. Um, so that's 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 where. We're at. And then, that, oops, oh, oh. press the um, Cool. Um, and so this this is the number of seats uh, available on the platform uh, over time. Um, and, and these are countries being launched, so you can see how how, how it's been growing over time. Um, so how did we get here? This will be more just a bit of a uh, historical account of, of, um, <coughs> of what happened. Um, 
So the, the website was, uh, so, so our, the main, we have three founders. One of, uh, the, the one who first came up with the idea called Frédéric Mazzilla uh, is French. And um, one Christmas in, uh, I think, 2005, 2006, he, he was in Paris, wanted to go and see his family um, in the country, and all the trains were booked up, so he couldn't. Uh, and he thought, well, this is sh surely, um, well, firstly, it's a shame because there, I know there are loads of people on the roads going there, and uh, I'd love to, you know, sh I'd love to share the cost of the journey with them. Secondly, there must be a website already doing this, I have looked there, so there wasn't, and uh, so he coded a, a first version of the website. Um, and uh, just for France, and, and, and it kind of, that's where the journey started. Um, and it grew very organically for a, for a couple of years. So 2006 is when it was first coded. And in 2008, um, kind of got lucky because uh, there were lots of train strikes in France. Uh, and the French love complaining. So um, uh, I'm half French, so I'm not a... Um, I, I can know, I know that for a fact, um, and uh, so it was all over all, all over the papers that there were train strikes, and um, uh, what that meant is it gave us some some exposure because it was oh well here's an alternative why why you go on the train you can also just uh, uh, ride share through this website, um, and from then on uh, it, it sort of it, it developed. So in, in a bit more detail, um, uh, one thing I just quickly want to mention is so I mentioned one founder we have a. a Another founder called um, Nicolas Brusson, who looks after a lot of the uh, international expansion. Uh, and the third one is uh, Francis Nappé, and he, he looks after the tech side of things. So Nicolas Brusson, if you ask him uh, um, uh, how to grow something really quickly, he, he, he often uh, talks about uh, uh, getting a, a footprint early. So what he means by footprint is um, essentially the number of people who could use your service. So when we were in France, the footprint was 62 million, roughly, the, the population of France. Um, and so, yeah, he says that you, you've got to get a, get a large footprint, sort of uncomfortably large, for your, your, your stage, uh, the stage of your, uh, of your website or company. And that's one that, that, that's, he, he encourages that, which is, I, I, I know others might say, well, prove your business model and then worry about uh, conquering the world. But, uh, um, that's always been his motto. So yeah, in 2009, uh, after the, the train strikes in 2008, where there had been some momentum, uh, uh, got its first uh, round of funding for 600,000 uh, euros, um, and there was no business model. Well, I say there was no business model, there was a sort of um, very unsatisfactory business model, which is how we just financed it to start off with, which was um, to basically sell the platform to organizations uh, who wanted to or, uh, organize their employees car sharing to uh, the offices. So for example, IKEA was a client, uh, they wanted to help their employees get to the offices uh, cheaper and more easily, so, so we, uh, we made pay for the service of using the platform. That was how we, we monetized it to start off with, but it was never really looking like it was going to be a great, uh, a great success that way. So really there was no uh, proper business model, or at least a, a really interesting one. Um, and in 2010, so that's when we, we went to Spain, uh, so that's where the footprint is now, uh, 102 million. Um, started employing a few people, so there were two offices, two markets, and there was a second round of funding, um, but still there was no real satisfactory business model. Um, and then 2011, that was the only, uh, that's when uh, the UK uh, started right at the end of 2011. Um, uh, so again, a bit bigger footprint and, and um, a few more employees, uh, but still, we, we had the business model was was only just being trialed, and, and after all, that's what uh, if anyone's going to invest in your, your company, they they they, they want to know what the business model is. But we were only just trialing it, and, and just in France. Um, and uh, can, can, do any of you know what the business model is or not? As in how you yeah, get yeah. money? Oh, I guess you take a percentage of the money that you pay to go on. Yeah. yeah. Use the car. Yeah, so it's a commission, a single commission. Um, okay, in 2012, uh, the business model was proven in France, uh, and that's where we got uh, uh, another round of funding for, for $10 million uh, from Axel Partners, Oops. Keep on doing that. Um, who Axel Partners um, invested in Facebook, uh, Dropbox, Spotify, so they, they, they've invested in a, a number of other um, big uh, um, internet-based companies. Um, and this is where we are now, so um, 
uh, Germany was launched in 2013, and now we have actually 95 employees. So we're across 10 countries with a footprint of 310 million, uh, and there are offices in six of those countries. Um, so, so that's been the, the, the growth over time. Um, and, and just to give you an idea of what, what that meant in terms of uh, number of seats offered per month. So as I showed you, the, the website works like a normal uh, travel search engine. Um, you, uh, or if you want to go somewhere, you, you want to see a result of uh, drivers going there. So seats offered are really important for us there. there are, it's like any other uh, marketing uh, director of a transport network would, would talk about seats uh, available, uh, capacity filled, etc. So we like to compare ourselves to other um, transport networks, so we, we talk quite a bit in seats offered. So uh, this, this is France, so this is uh, April 2011 and you've got October 2013. So it, it, it's great, it's, it's nothing uh, huge, hugely interesting, um, but this is, this is uh, why we, we got a big footprint early on, um, even though when, it first, when we first did it, 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 uh, it, we didn't reap any rewards very immediately. But uh, you can see that afterwards, if you add other countries, so Spain, UK, Italy, Poland, Germany, suddenly that's looking a lot more interesting. Um, uh, and um, uh, you can imagine that if, if we keep that kind of growth up, it, it's obviously uh, uh, really exciting. So, um, And, and you can see that true monetization uh, was, was kind of a fair bit before actually it, it really started picking up there. Um, great. So, um, what, what enabled this? Well, as we mentioned, um, we really think that trust is, is uh, um, something we can't constantly work on to make sure that uh, um, members can trust each other on the website. Um, and so we, uh, you know, it's taken 2006 when the website started, and it's taken pretty much all of that time since, until today to really nail that down. Um, and so we come up with a, um, a framework that we call the, the Dreams Framework, um, and there are six. Uh, so how do we build trust? Through the, this is it. So the Dreams Framework, and there are basically six pillars. Uh, six pillars of trust is, is what we call them. Um, so I'll explain each of them to you, um, but we, we really think that any business trying to um, trying to, to, to set up a community that needs to interact through through the internet will benefit from uh, basically uh, employing the, the, the dreams framework. Um, so. so the, the, the first thing is, is uh, relatively obvious, but firstly you need to get your members to declare information about themselves. Um, so their name, here we've got age, a picture, um, a, uh, a short description about... Um, it, it only needs to be very short, it doesn't need to be a, an account of your life, but the minute you know, for example, that uh, parents have a farm, I drive a 4x4, that's straight away a, a reasonable amount of information, and you, if you were to meet that person, for example, you. you you feel, I, I feel a lot more comfortable just knowing that, that about them compared to knowing absolutely nothing. Um, and, as, and, and so we have a, a bunch of features that allow people to declare information about themselves. Um, so the, the second one is uh, ratings. So uh, ratings um, are really important for us because they allow the community to, to, to basically um, uh, self-regulate itself. <laughs> to regulate itself, sorry. Um, and. So ratings are really obvious, uh, and, and, and eBay eBay has been employing them a lot longer than we, that we have. I think that, that there's definitely a distinction to be made. Um, if you think about eBay, if you buy, let's say, uh, an iPhone cover on eBay, um, so I'm the buyer, uh, I'm going to press buy, I'm then going to use PayPal to pay for it, and um, expect to receive it, and I'm going to get a positive rating for that. So obviously I end up Obviously, I'm going to pay for this iPhone cover, right? Because otherwise, I, it's not going to be sent to me. Uh, it doesn't really say a huge amount about the person. The difference is on blah blah car, the ratings are left after people have travelled together. So, as we've discussed, that they, they're long journeys. So that means that someone spent a good two or three hours with that person, and then they're leaving a rating on a, a number of things. So, did they turn up on time? Was the car clean? Did they drive okay? 
Um, were they a nice person to be around? Uh, because those are all things that, that matter to you when you're going to travel. Um, and so basically, it's, it's definitely one of the uh, rating systems that, 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 that where I, I really think that we have more, more value per rating because there's, there's more, it, there's been more time spent to evaluate that person basically. So um, that's, that's definitely a, a, a big advantage uh, that we have. And, and we find that passengers who uh, have lots of ratings and drivers have lots of ratings obviously end up getting more requests for, for rides or being accepted more easily simply because you straight away know that person's going to be, uh, it's going to be very easy to deal with. Um, so the, the third pillar of trust is uh, in, engaged. So um, by that, we, we want people to make an engagement to do what they say they're going to do. So um, we, we said that we monetize the website uh, through uh, a commission pro, uh, system, but that's actually also um, a way of improving the product because now as a driver, um, when I uh, get a booking and I know the passenger's paid, well, I know the passenger's going to turn up. And if he doesn't, we, uh, blah, blah, car, act as a third party and can have uh, cancellation policies in place to, 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 to basically make sure that the driver isn't, uh, uh, doesn't come off badly um, simply because the passenger has changed his mind at the last minute. Um, so then it's uh, activity uh, is, is the A. Um, by that we mean that um, but just because you're, you're, you uh, built up, let's say, trust on, on, on one platform doing one thing, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, uh, that's applicable to something else. So as I said, I, I could be a great buyer on eBay because uh, let's say I'm a, I, I run a business through eBay and I'm buying things every day. Uh, of course, I'm just paying for them immediately because it just needs to happen. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be a good driver, that I'm going to be on time, that uh, uh, my car's clean, uh, or even a good passenger. Um, so it's important that um, it all relates back to a certain activity. We're, we're not just it needs to be more granular than just a, a thumbs up for a person. It's a thumbs up for a person as a passenger or as a driver, in, in our case. Um, finally, M, uh, moderated. So on, on any online community, it's really important to make sure that uh, the, uh, what, what's, what's on the, uh, the content uh, being created by the, the people within the community is, is uh, sorry, um, is kind of in the right in the right spirit. So it, I'll give you an example. That'd be easier. Um, so we're all about people sharing rides. So for example, if uh, a guy um, uh, gets in touch with someone simply to meet up, that's that's not what we're about. We want people to be able to come on blah blah car because they want to share a journey, and it needs to be an easy and quick process to do that. So if you're getting uh, requests for other random things, that that's that's not okay. So that's why. Um, for example, we will we have a member relations team, uh, and that's a bit unusual for a, for an internet company to, to um, have so many people who works in in the moderation of content. Um, and they they make sure that, for example, when you put up a biography on your on your website um, on your profile, uh, it, it's 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 in the right spirit. So it's to do with car sharing, or it's just giving giving other members some information, and it's not about let's say. Uh, uh, hit me up on uh, BB, uh, you know, your, your Blackberry or something like that. Um, and what that means though is that when you get new members or, or for the existing members, when they're, when they're going through uh, content on the website, it's all what, what they expect it to be and it's all helping them achieve what they're trying to achieve, which is car share in this case. Um, and it, 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 it therefore creates, well, A, it's uh, important because it makes it easy to use, but also um, we can get rid of anyone who has um, uh, who's not using the service for, for the right right reasons, uh, and then the, the final final one is uh, social. So um, uh, as I, as I mentioned, it's sharing a, a car with someone for a for a journey is, is definitely a social activity. Unlike sitting with someone on a coach or a train, you're, you're going to talk to them. So it's important to know that that person is is uh, is in a way a person just like you. And so when you see through Facebook that let's say they have 500 friends. Um, that, that, that just tells you that A, that's a real person, B, uh, they're, they're someone who um, is social and therefore is, is going to be uh, uh, fun to be around. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, um, 
so yeah, I just thought I, I didn't. Um, we didn't, as I said, it, it took us some time to to um, have all of those features on websites, and um, I just want to show you uh, where where the features arrived compared to the growth. Um, so when, when we started in 2006, so what we had on the website was D, A, and M. So people declared information about themselves. They have a picture and a little biography. Um, we had A, it's activity-based, so, so it's all about car sharing. And M, uh, it was moderated. So we already had people moderating content. Um, as you can see, uh, so here we're talking about the passengers transported. Um, and uh, it wasn't particularly exciting. Um, in 2009, 10, 11, so we added the R of ratings, uh, and you can see that, that, that things started to improve. And it's in 2012 that um, we then added the um, uh, E and S, so E uh, for engaged, uh, which was the booking system, and an S for social, uh, which is uh, connected through social networks. And uh, as you can see, then it really do did start picking up. And so over the course of 2013, we have transported more than 10 million people um, and uh, although that's an estimate, we're a month away and it's very much uh, uh, where we're heading. So, so that, that, that's obviously really exciting. And, and, and that is entirely because um, the, the platform is uh, now somewhere where trust is, 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 is easy to kind of mediate because uh, of these features. And that is important because as a new person or someone using it for the first time or even people using it for the second, third, fourth time, they want to know that uh, their, their passenger or their driver is going to do what you expect them to do. Um, and that, that, that means they want to use a service. If there's uncertainty about that because they don't trust them, you, you can't be bothered and you just take the train, you just take the bus, you do what you've always done. I mean, this is a new way of, of, of moving about. So people already do, it's already a bit of a leap of faith. So um, that's why it's really important. So for any um, uh, online community, uh, or uh, online market, these things are really important because the likelihood is, um, let's say you do want to start a, a new website, you're probably not going to try and start eBay because uh, someone's already done it. It's going to be something new, something a bit different. So that's where, uh, the, one of the first things I said, it, it needs to be, you, you need to never take it for granted that people have understood what you're doing and then you, you need to enable trust on the platform through then these six, what we call pillars of trust, um, and that will allow people to make that leap of faith of, okay, I, I, I've never tried this before, but um, I think it's worth going and, and I'll do it. Um, and I believe that's it. Cool. Oh, <laughs> Firstly, it, it kind of makes a lot of sense because we definitely benefit from a cross-country uh, cross trip. So when we were in France, we then launched Spain first. And that you know, people on the border here were quite often going to on, in Spain, and that allows that, that that's kind of an easy way of spreading. Mm -hmm. And obviously, uh, uh, Switzerland is pretty much sandwiched. I think um, uh, um, it is pretty small, so it's uh, uh, it's not um, a huge market to kind of worry about. Yeah. Uh, but it, I'm sure it will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say there's also a different currency, so there are there are certain things to set up there that. Uh, Whereas, whereas all this is uh, is the euro, obviously, so it's kind of very easy to just uh, uh, all the problems of the single currency. At least it's uh, it's easier to spread. Yeah. Well, um, have, have you all heard of Airbnb? Yeah. Um, so um, the, the difference there is is <coughs> as as the owner of a flat, you're maybe putting your your possessions on 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 the line, but um, it, on Blah Blah you're you're you know, a driver is, you really need to trust the driver to drive safely, for example, uh, and so you, you're putting a bit more on the line, uh, uh, it could be argued. Um, so that's why, you know, I guess Airbnb is, is also similar, you're letting people into your flat, that's, that's um, you definitely need to trust the people arriving, uh, but we're kind of up there with them in terms of trust is seriously important for us, uh, more so than, you know, Spotify, like, you, you, you're listening to music, so that's not a consideration, for example. Um, Which has it changed? Yeah, so actually, it uh, used to be called uh, the website when it was just in France. Used to be called uh, covoiturage.fr. Okay. Uh, so co voiture voiture is car, voiturage is kind of caring. So co caring, I guess. Okay. Um, and then when the decision was made to go um, uh, to go across across a number of other countries in Europe, 
uh, clearly that wasn't going to work in any other country, so then came the name blah blah car. So uh, yeah, we you know we do centralise a lot of the let's say designs, um, designs and messages. But every country, as I mentioned, has slightly different things to think about. So, for example, uh, the UK, we get more more people who are asking questions about trust than we might do in other countries. Uh, so, we'll consider that when we're when we're um, uh, thinking about marketing. Uh, otherwise, I'd say it stays rel relatively similar. So, for example, we have every six weeks we have something called International Week, where everyone goes back to the French office. Um, and that's where people exchange a lot of ideas about what worked, what didn't, and um, so we're very much trying to work together um, to, 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 to grow, grow the, the user base, but every country has its own considerations, hence there are local offices and, and so on. So does Blah mean the same thing in every country? <laughs> yeah, pr pretty much. I mean, yeah. if you go blah, in French, if you go blah, 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 that's, that's okay. uh, talking. If you go blah, 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 uh, that's talking. Um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah in, in all countries, it, Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so we, we have some competitors. Uh, um, so there's a pace that I, I, um, I don't know, but I, I, I'd be very surprised if you can paint in that, yeah. that sort of idea. It's, it's not really a. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it really is just an no, idea. It's just like, yeah. I'll paint my room green. Or, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'd be surprised at that. So it's all about critical mass. So uh, we talked about the number of seats offered. So that's one way you can easily kind of compare the offering on your website to the offering on someone else's website. And um, you know we have significantly more seats offered in all all countries across Europe, um, apart from Germany, which is let's say the, the home country of one of our major competitors. Um, so in the UK, uh, we have something like 80% of the trips offered on a car sharing platform are, are on blah blah car. And uh, obviously, as we discussed, we have a problem, sorry, not a problem, but a, a challenge to match people. Um, and so the more people we have using it, the easier it is to match. So that, that obviously is, is, a, is a, uh, a cool thing to have. And obviously, the, the whole well, I talked a lot about trust, and, and, and we, we've, we've taken that on board probably more, I, I would say, than some of our competitors to really try and enable that. Um, and that's why there are more seats offered, because uh, people uh, trust them. And then what happens is all spirals, because if there are more seats offered, I'm more likely to find passengers, because there will be more passengers searching for, for seats. And therefore, when uh, I do find a passenger, I'm like, well, I'll go on blah, 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 because that's where I, 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 I find drivers, I find passengers. And then what happens is, when there is a match, um, uh, what's the first thing you do when you arrive somewhere? You say, oh, um, how did you get there? Oh, it's, it's quite cool, I use this website and I travel with someone. And, and, and then we get some word of mouth, and that's really important for us, is people telling, uh, uh, telling others about it. And so, yeah, with, with sort of, uh, one million people using it every month, we, can, we don't know how, how the extent to which people talk about it, but you can be pretty sure that behind that there are some conversations a million times of you know that's how I got here or I use this website and, and that's that's what's valuable and then after that obviously it's, uh, uh, it's not in, in no way is it plain sailing but but obviously you get a really big uh, uh, big push um, yeah is um, is another of the questions we get quite uh, quite often and, and um, so in, in UK there's something called the ABI, which is the Association of British Insurers. Um, and they clearly say, if you're not making a profit, um, your insurance is not affected. So that's why we cap the price on the website, to ensure people don't make a profit out of, out of using the website. So what that means is, when you travel with someone, that person, um, that person was going there anyway. We're not, we're, not having, we're not ending up with people who are traveling to make money because we cap the price, so, that, so they can't make money out of it. So therefore, uh, what we do is we, we, yeah, we connect a, a passenger with a driver um, in the same way that you'd get into your friend's car kind of thing. Um, so that there's no need for a legal department. Um, and uh, yeah, we don't have, yeah, there's no need for a legal department. Obviously we get a legal advice for, for various things, but uh, just like anyone else would. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.